Like flex on you haters, high haters. This is my world, so it's all in my favor. I like all girls, yeah. Hey man, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Marzify back with another story time for you guys. So this story time is about the time I got my ass whooped in the bathroom. Does that even sound respectful? I don't know, but before we get started though, you guys already know what the drill is, man. Go ahead down below, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to comment on if you liked this video or not. Just give me criticism, you know, so I can make my videos better for you guys. So let's get right into it. But first, I got to give you guys some background knowledge on how this even came about. So I was in sixth grade, you feel me? So it was me and my friend. We always used to like this. I can't say cute because you feel me I got a girl and she gonna beat my ass but just know me and him fought over this one girl a little bit of a snow bunny but now she all bony and shit so I don't really fuck with that now but just know me and him used to fight over that one girl we would we would we would be like competing for a trophy you see what I'm saying so we would always try to text her try to talk to her we would just be thirsty as fuck dude why a nigga gotta be so thirsty? You see what I'm saying? But let's just get right into it. So this story time takes me way, way, way back when I was in sixth grade. Now you see what I'm saying? Young Marzify was a savage back then. You look at me, I'm fighting you. You speak to me, we scrapping. You breathe on my neck, I'm fucking you up on sight. But now, you see, I'm on chilling shit. I haven't fought in a while. I don't think I'm a fight in a while because I don't really like fighting now. I'm more of a talk it out kind of guy. More of that hippie life, you feel me? I'm just joking, but let's get right into it, man. I'm starting too much. So I was at lunch, you know, chilling with my friends and shit, you know, talking about some goofy stuff, you know, making weird sounds for the people that came by because we sat at the end of the table. But that doesn't really matter, though. What matters is what happened after lunch. So you feel me? So we were done with lunch, you know, we ate, we ate, we were feasting, you feel me, on that school lunch. And we all know school lunch is some shit. Especially my school lunch? Hell nah. But after lunch, we went, we usually go to the bathroom. Cause there's a bathroom right beside our right beside the lunchroom. So we went there, you know. I had to take a pee, so I went in, you see? So I went in, I took my little pee. But as I was taking my pee, cause I felt like I was, I was in there for like years, you see? But as I was taking my pee, these five group of kids, one of them was my friend. The other were like his friends. So they walked in as I was taking my piss, you know? And they looked at me and they knew, they knew me and my friend had some tension. They knew that we might have to scrap one day. And that day was that one day. So when I was done with my pee, you know, zipped up my zipper, turned around. As soon as I turned around, I saw the nigga. We made dead eye contact, man. Looking into each other's soul. No bullshit. But we tried talking it out a little bit. Just a little bit. You see, I don't really like going head in to fighting. I'm more like I'm going to talk it out. But if we got to scrap, then we scrap in. So... We tried talking it out, didn't work out. So we just we just looking at each other, thinking who can make the first move. So young boy tries to throw a punch at me, dodge that shit. Mike Tyson him, boom. He's a little bit stuttered, he's a little bit stunned, he's a little bit stunned. Threw a little flashbang at him, now he's blinded. I mean, I'm not the type of guy to like, you feel me, get all up in your face. I'm more of a distance guy, cause you know, I got long ass arms and long ass legs so i'm gonna use that to my advantage duh so i was throwing punches and kicks and shit and then he got me in the headlock i thought I, was, I thought he was gonna choke my ass out but i don't even know how i got out of it i guess i need him or something but all i know is that when we were done we both were bloody as fuck it was like an mma match that's what it felt like i felt like i was conor mcgregor 
That's what I thought. I thought I was Conor McGregor and Nick Diaz. But I don't really know who won, though. I really know who won. So, after that, we walked out of the bathroom. Bloody as fuck. But before we walked out of the bathroom, we cleaned ourselves off. So, you know, nobody would know. But a couple kids in the bathroom were there as we were fighting. And they snitched. They told the teacher that we were fighting. Come on, man. What the fuck? So, the teacher called both of us down to the principal's office. And y'all know what happened from there, man. We saw both of our parents. And that's when we knew we weren't going to go to school for a couple of days. I was going to be sitting in a wheelchair with my ass on fire. Because I thought fighting over a girl was some smart shit. Listen, man. It learned from me. Bros before hoes. All day, every day. Unless you got a baddie like me. I'm just joking. But, yeah, man. That's going to wrap up the story time. I just got suspended and an ass whooping. Two things I never thought I'd ever get. But I got them. So, if you did, do enjoy, if you did enjoy this story time, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe while you're at it. And... Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that description below, man. Show your boy some love. Go ahead and like this video up. I'm going to catch you guys next one. Peace out, bruh.